So hi everyone, I'm Moonlight Mason and welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Uh, do subscribe and in this video I am going to talk about Trisha Paytas and her and that is what has inspired me because I was like you know I get inspired you know what I mean like I'm, I'm I, it's not like I sit there and go okay what what's my next video sometimes I do that but then I don't film them but they're written down but then I get this inspiration and uh so I saw Trisha's last video and I got all kinds of stuff to say as always keep watching Anyways, that was refreshing. <laughs> A lot of the comments under Trisha's last video where she was uh, went to Taco Bell and ordered, you know, a lot of food. It's a lot. It's not just for one person. That's like for maybe, maybe three or four people. It, it, she ordered like a lot of food. And, and so there were all these comments under that video, you know, talking about, you know, yeah, well, what happened to your diet, blah, 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 blah. And Trisha said in the video, she said, at least this is better than what it was before. And here is our lesson of the day. <laughs> See, what what is better to her is based on her standards, and what's better to me is based on my standards, and what's better to you. So we all have different levels, different levels of the definition of being or eating or being healthy or eating better. The lesson that we can learn from, from Trisha and the, the obvious lesson that is there for her is that you need to always understand that your standards, whatever level is good enough for you, right, may not be the best because there's something called a set point. And when, before you were born and before you came to life, you had unlimited, <laughs> you know, your set point was unlimited, okay? So it wasn't, it, you couldn't measure it. And then what happened is ha when you took consciousness as a human form, all of a sudden, you know, the environment, people's voices, you know, you, people's, your mom's emotions, you know, you know, all these feelings and you start to, you know, become one with those and, and you, you come to some set point of how much money you're going to make in your lifetime and who's the very best you can marry or whatever, you know. So she said, so her set point was to say, at least this is better than where I was before. And I have to say, yes, it is. But is that your set point? Like, are you, you have no more courage? This is what this journey that we see Trisha going through with food. It's about learning to be courageous. Yes, it's, it's a lesson in learning to have free will. That's what it is. It's your own free will. It's your free will, right? Because, you know, this is something that she wants, right? She wants to lose weight. That's what she wants. That who. So this other thing that she has that sabotages her, first of all, it's like a set point in her brain. Maybe it says, you know, when I'm around this weight, I'm okay. I remember her talking about once about if she was a certain weight that would let her know that she could gain like 20 pounds in either direction or something like that. And I remember when I heard that, I thought, you know, I used to go to um, Weight Watchers and, you know, all of those meetings and stuff. And every time I'd go there, you know, 
somebody would come up to me and say, what are you doing here? You know, and I would say, well, I gained five pounds, you see. And then they were saying, oh, but you look great. And I said, no, you don't understand. If I don't come here now, I will gain another five pounds. I'm on the wrong path. And, and then they got it and they understood that my set point was so much higher than their set point. So, and, and this is something that you create. You create it. It's, it's you. It's about you and your, you know, personal worth to yourself. That's what it's about. You and your personal worth. And so that, that I just found was really interesting um, with Trisha and, uh, you know, she's still on her journey. She's still on her journey. I mean, it, it did blow my mind. It did. I was a little shook when I saw her eating all this stuff. I just knew. I just knew it was pre-recorded. <laughs> and then when I started reading all the stuff that it wasn't, I just thought, hmm, it, the choices that we make in our life at different times in our life. I mean, I made some crazy choices too, you know, but not at, um, not at 30, I don't think. Not at 30. Because when I was 30, I had my bachelor's and my master's. So not at 30, but like in my 20s, you know, but we can talk about that. That's another video. So I just had to get on here and talk a little bit about Trisha and how we can all learn and be aware that we all have set points and you determine that set point in your life. You determine how worthy you are. You know what I'm saying? So um, you just, uh, you know, need to value yourself. And the more you value yourself, you know, like when she, after she ate the Taco Bell, remember she said it sounded really good, but then her, when it was inside of her, remember? She, when she had eaten it, she said, oh, you know, it doesn't feel so good. That's who you need to listen to. That's the inner voice talking to you. You know what I'm saying? Or if you drink something or eat something that you know you're kind of allergic to, you know, like even alcohol, a lot of people are allergic, you know, to drinking, but it doesn't stop them or they're allergic to something. So, you know, the more you honor and take care of yourself, the more you love yourself. And the more you love yourself, the more of you you can give. You can just be yourself and just give. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to end this. It was a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I love all of you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.